Here's the Hollyland M2. This is the combo kit. In the combo kit, you get the two pairs of uh, transmitters, one receiver that goes into a camera with the 3.5 jack, and then you get these two extra receivers. This one is Lightning for Apple products that still have Lightning, and this one is USB-C for Android and the new iPhones. The question is, can all three of these receivers work at the same time with different devices and having the same transmitter? In this short video, we're gonna test that out. Here's one of the transmitters with USB-C going into an iPhone 15 Pro. This one is the Lightning. I don't have many Lightning connections left because I've upgraded all my Apple, but this is a iPod Touch with a Lightning. That's gonna be used there. And then the regular camera receiver is gonna have a 3.5 out to this Canon V10. Okay, that one's plugged in. They're all plugged in now, and I'm gonna take out one transmitter. Here's one transmitter, let's see if it pairs to all of them. Okay, from the looks of this, whenever it's not blinking, that blue light, that means it's connected. But if it is blinking, that means it's not connected yet. So I can already see here that on my iPhone, it's connected here, but it's blinking on all the other ones. So it looks like it only connects one way. Let me just get this as an example to see the levels. There's a levels, do the tap test. Nope, it's not receiving on that one, but I think it is receiving here. Yeah, see? So it's receiving on one, but it is not receiving on all three and it's not receiving there either because you can see the lights are, are still blinking. That means it's not connected. Not connected. So just to see what happens, let me take out the other transmitter and see which one pairs first. Okay, this one's, this one's loose. Which one's gonna pair first? Ah, it looks like the camera is pairing first, right there, see? That one stopped blinking, so let me do that tap test. Yep. So it seems like once you take all this stuff out here, whatever the receiver finds first, it's gonna lock onto that one and then the other ones are not gonna work. So as you can see in this test I just did, if you have all three receivers, the transmitters are only gonna lock in to one, one of them. And it seems like it's a little random. It's trying to find whatever signal it gets first. And even with two, you, you can't even get two with the same one, apparently, because it looks like it's kind of random, uh, which whatever connection it makes first. So I hope that answers the age old question of if you have three receivers in the same kit and one transmitter, do they go to all three or only one? And it looks like it only goes to one.